Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 with the new DLC Conquest of Paradise and the old DLC uh, Save Game Converter or whatever, whatever that thing is called. Uh, so in this Let's Play we are going to be playing as Norway. Uh, not your standard Norway, where we are going to be playing as the Greater Norwegian Kingdom with the Norse Religion. Uh, so yeah, this is a save game converted game from Crusade Kings 2. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys how this looked in uh, Crusade Kings 2. Alright, here we are. Uh, so yeah, this is basically how the world looked like in Crusade Kings 2 before I went ahead and converted it. So this is the uh, political map mode. Uh, Pretty nice, I'm really pleased how this turned out. A lot better than uh, my last attempt at this. Uh, so let's quickly go through the, the different map modes. Uh, we have religions, uh, the main religions would have to be uh, Islam. So, uh, the Sunnis are still around, the Shia though are starting to gain power. The Norsemen and the Catholics are also two major ones, especially the Norse are quite big indeed. And that is um, that was me doing that, for anyone wondering. Uh, cultures is also very interesting. You can see the Norwegians derping about in uh, the British Isles. Yeah, so the culture split did happen uh, with the Norsemen. Although you still have some Norsemen derping over here in Russia. And this awkward little uh, <laughs> Norwegian colony in Volga, Bulgaria. Got the Mongols, the uh, different, you know, the Bedouins, the Berbers, the stuff and things. And of course, German Italy, which everyone knows was is totally historic and it makes so much sense. <laughs> Alright, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how the world looked in uh, Crusader Kings 2. A uh, couple of quick things I want to mention though. Uh, I, the, I used every expansion that have, has been released so far for this game in the, the playthrough of, uh, of Crusader Kings, with the exception of the... Um, uh, fuck. Uh, Aztec Invasion thingy. Sunset Invasion, that's the one. Uh, simply because I don't really like it. Uh, so that, I mean, that's gonna have, qu have quite an impact on the gameplay in Europe and Versailles 4, because if you have that DLC, then you have those major empires in the Americas. Uh, but I won't have that, so that's nice. Uh, you can also notice how I played the game all the way through to the starting date of Europe and Versailles 4. And I know you don't have to do that, but I, I, I wanted to do it anyways, because I just, I don't know, it feels a little bit more legit, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, and a quick an another quick thing is that in Europe Universalis, I'm not going to be using the randomly generated um, continents. Uh, not I'm not going to randomly generate the new world. Kind of for the same reason uh, that I don't have the Sunset Invasion expansion. I just don't like it. I think it's a neat expansion and or neat feature and whatnot. But I just I, I I don't know. I just I'm not that big of a fan of it, and I just don't feel like using it. So. I mean, there's, it's really not any more complicated than that. Um, so yeah, let's go back to Europe and Versailles. Alright, there you go. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna be explaining a little bit uh, as I play how the map ended up being like this. Uh, but if you want a more sort of in-depth explanation on uh, sort of the history behind this map and whatever, uh, then you can go watch the... Uh, Episode zero, I think I called it, of this series, which is basically sort of an an episode before the actual episode begin, or <laughs> I don't know exactly how I'm going to say it. Uh, but in point is, in that video, I explain uh, basically how the world ended up like this. Uh, there will be a link to that video in the description. Uh, but without uh, wasting any more time, let's get into the game. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Uh, as you can see here, um, lo a lot of new nations have been added in this DLC. Of course, now you can't see it anymore, but uh, we'll explore. We'll uh, take a look around, so uh, soon enough we'll, you'll be able to see it again. Alright, so here we are in the lovely world of um, Europa Universalis 4 as Norse Norway. Uh, so I have taken a look at uh, how the game would convert to Europe Universalis 4 um, before I started this Let's Play. So I know a little, and I know the basics on how this world looks. But I haven't actually played anything, so this is going to be very interesting to see how things are. <laughs> By the way, a little kind of derpy thing that I noticed. Um, you can, if you go into the religion, you can see <laughs> that we are, we're Norse and we get the same bonuses and, you know... 
the right color, the right name, everything is fine, with the exception of the fact that we have the wrong symbol. We don't have that badass eagle as we should have, we have the Tengri symbol. Uh, I don't know, I think that's a bug that has to do with uh, the expansion or the patch or whatever, I don't know exactly. I tried to Google it and how to fix it, but I couldn't really find anything, which kind of makes sense since the DLC was like, you know, released one hour ago, so I wouldn't really expect anything different. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I mean, I'm just, I'm not gonna care too much about that now, it, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm just going to hope that they patch it and fix it. If they don't, I, I, it should be possible to go into the files and, uh, you know, edit it so that it shows the um, correct symbol. Uh, I don't know exactly how to do that, but uh, I am sure I can figure that out. Alright, uh, so let's take a look at our nation and what situation we are in. Uh, diplomatically, we have no allies, no nothing, it's just derpy. Oh, this is new personality. Uh, that I, I don't know if that's added by the patch or the DLC. I'm guessing it's the patch. It kind of makes sense. Uh, diplomats. Oh, this is pretty cool. You can see like the, the dudes have different um, ways to derp. Yeah, ways to derp. Perfect thing. Per the perfect way to say it. Uh, hmm. Seek out powerful friends. Attempt to expand it diplomatically. Huh. Uh, we don't have a personality, or I we do have a bit of personality, but it's purely up to me, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, what to do? What to do? I guess, I guess the first thing we'll need to uh, do is uh, we need to expand. We need to uh, establish our empire firmly here in Europe, so that we can look elsewhere and expand our empire and stuff. And of course, I mean, expanding the Empire is very important. We need to make sure we bring the uh, the glorious faith of Norse and Odin to the world so that they can see the light and whatnot. <laughs> um, so enough talking, let's get let's get playing. Um, so it, that's a very small army, but I think I, yeah. Do you have a little bit more of an army over here, uh, which is pretty much purely infantry. Uh, it's, it's, it's got some cavs, so it's an okay army, I guess. Um... Ooh, I can notice something a little bit different from the previous, my previous attempt at converting this save. Uh, in the previous uh, attempt or whatever, uh, Sweden had a bunch of vassals, but in this version they are firmly united into one nation, so that's something. Uh, Sweden is an interesting nation. I think I might want to try and get a... Um, I, want, I might want to be friends with them, because I think I should try and claim their throne. Because you can see, um, on Monarch Death, we, oh, look at this, on Monarch Death, there there's, will be a succession war between Norway and Germany. As you can see, a lot of these different nations have the same royal house as me. Um, so if, if any of these monarchs die, we'll have to face a succession war. I think there's one more nation with my house. Uh, Volga Bulgaria. They have green force. Yeah, they too have green force. Who else? I think that's it, actually. Uh, but <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny that it's that that many nations have green force. Or maybe it's uh, uh yeah. Here we go. Uh, one of the Irish nations have me as a um, or have my dynasty. Uh, ooh, they will actually vassalize. Oh, that don't, that might be something I want to think about. You can see a lot of these nations are totally cool with getting vassalized. Well, well maybe not that many. I guess it depends on culture and a little bit like and size. These provinces are quite rich, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. Seven. Twelve! Wow, wow. I need to get that. Uh, so yeah, some of you guys uh, that haven't watched the previous video that I did on this uh, might ask yourself, why is my empire so tiny? And uh, the reason for that is that I on purpose played Crusader King so that my empire wouldn't grow too big. So that the game in uh, Europe and Versailles would be a little bit interesting. Uh, Alright. So I think one of the, I think the first thing I want to do is I want to get my army over from uh, Norway or the old Norway over to the new Norway over here in Britain. So let's do that. And I have an absolutely huge navy. That's a little bit overkill, don't you think? Well, the game does not think that. Okay. I can build more army though, but I can't... Well, I, I'm not going to start disbanding ships quite yet. 
So this seems to be our trade navy. Um, so they have redone the trade a little bit. You can, for example, see that you now have this major trade node in the middle of the Atlantic. So we'll need to make sure we get that uh, under our control. Of course, right now, there's no purpose of that because there is no trade coming along from this direction. Trade wind. Okay, that's new. Not that I know what it does, but that's cool, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Let's get going. So this trade, so our home trade node would have to be the North Sea because that's what that's where my capital is. It's on the Isles. Um, we have a lot of power there. This is a shitty trade node, though. Let's not transfer. I should probably try and collect there instead. Let's try and go down there and get some more power there because I have I control this pretty well. Since I'm pretty much the only nation who owns territory within this trade node, so that makes sense. So let's go ahead and send this guy down to London, and we'll see if we can get some more trade from there. And this other navy will sail over to Akashus, and we'll pick up some of these derps. And they're dying from attrition, let's split them up a little bit. Dying from attrition is just so lame, you know. Uh, so let's take a look at, uh, yeah, religion is nice, except for this. It's fucking blasphemy bullshit. <laughs> um... Uh, what else? Uh, culture, that's something I wanted to take a look at. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of new map no map map modes, fuck, <laughs> that, that we'll need to take a look at. So, culturally, we are pretty much all Norwegian, or our nation, that is, except for two provinces. We have this one, which is Irish, Ugh. and this one, which is Scottish. Get out of here, Scottish... Like, that's funny though, like, I played the Crusader Kings from start to finish, yet this province never converted, it stayed Scottish to the end. I think I might have to change that. I'm gonna save up a little bit more power though before I do that. I wanna have, make sure I have some power laying around. So who are you? Derby? So how many relations? We can have four relations. Ugh, that's not a lot. So I'll need to, I need to figure out who I wanna do. So we have Dublin, they will vassalize, we have them, they will vassalize. So maybe just annexing Ireland would be a good start. A lot of these other nations would vassalize as well. Well, Derby would. And G -G 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 fucking Wales bullshit will also vassalize. Uh, um, I think maybe vassalizing all of these Irish people might not be that... Uh, anyone have cores? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You, this is perfect. Ulster? Uh, no, they don't? Nope. I don't know if this is bugging out or what's going on here. Do we have course? Yeah, look at that. Ulster has course on this. And they have course on marchers. For some okay, that's perfect. Because uh, the thing I can do then, I can vassalize Ulster and I can just conquer this. But not instead of conquering it, I can just force them to give it to Ulster, I think. I don't know if, he, if it's possible to do that when they are a one province minor, but I'll, I'll just, I'll hope that's possible. So we don't need to vassalize them, I don't think, anyways. So we'll do Ulster, Meath, and I guess we can just do Derby. All these other folks are not interested in becoming my vassals, so sure, let's ally Derby. Let's ally Ulster. Yep. Ally Meath. Or Dublin. I guess that makes sense since they are Norwegian. Just ally them. And I'll spend the the last relations I can have, I'll go ahead and ally Sweden. Which is a little bit blasphemy. I know, I know, I don't like it either, but it's it's all about conquering them, you know, you know, so I'm not I'm not, you know, interested in being bros forever. I'm just um you know making sure we get those um personal unions in business. Let's make sure we marry them as well. And they're a decent nation, they got some troops, so... Do they have cores on anything? No, they kind of just suck all... You know, so... Never mind that, uh, let's get a marriage. Hey, free power! Uh, marriage from Ulster, yes. Marriage with Sweden, oh yeah. What, trade dispute? No. Why? Just no. So, let's get a marriage here as well, and uh, never mind, okay, okay, that's Derby, so we need to get them over, we need to get them up to 190, I think? That's when they will vassalize. So we'll do that. 
Uh, oh, what? Who are you? Germ Germany? Fucking god. Oh well. Whatever. Whatever. It's gonna royally marry them. Yeah, let's do that. So now we have four out of four, so we want to be careful not doing too much more than that. Do we want to get any advice? Or oh yeah, diplomatic reputation. That is so good. Not that my economy is, you know, actually that capable of supporting it, but fuck it, I, I want that. Okay, let's. Uh, so did we marry them? Yes, good. Now let's get relations up. Uh, we won't be able to get it all the way to 190 purely by improving relations, but we'll get pretty close. So claims on anything? Do we have claims? Maybe we can get some claims here. Congo Schleswig. Yeah, that's right. We own these parts of Denmark. Uh, not really too interested. You can spare our culture to Gelray. We'll get 10 diplomatic points from doing that. Gelray? What the fuck? Where is Gelray? I should know that. Ah! Hey, oh yeah, we own one of these provinces. Uh, no. That's... To be honest, I don't even know why I have that. It's just... One of my vassals in Crusader Kings conquered that, and I never really paid too much attention about it. So... Uh, spread our culture, conquered. No, there's there's no mission to like conquering any of these people, so I don't think we're gonna do that. Let's improve relations with. No, I don't want to con. All these missions suck. Fuck. No pirates. That that was quick. <laughs> wow. Okay, on the boats. And um, they're threatening our trade. What are you? Why? What are they doing? I I don't know why they're. Threatening my trade. Oh, but uh, if you say so, game. If you say so. Okay, let's get 15. That's too much. There we go. Put them on the boats. Quickly bring them over to North Northumberland. Uh, we have a spare diplomat. So let's go talk to. Let's go talk to Derby. Hi, Derby. Want to be my friend? <laughs> of course you do. It's not like I have a choice or anything, but you know, I feel like it's. I feel like I should be polite and ask and whatnot. Uh, let's take a look at this, some of these map modes. So we have the winter map mode, which basically tells you where not to go. Uh, sure. So the moral moral of the story: don't invade Russia ever. Just no. Uh, so that's a thing. Fuck! Like all of our lands are like fucking Arctic. They're not Arctic. I know that because I live in Norway myself. Severe winter. Yeah, that's true. Fuck, it's so cold outside right now. I mean, like, oh. oh it's tough living in Norway. That was a lie. It's not tough at all. Oh. Fuck, this is gonna take forever. Oh, well. Marsh. Ooh. Sure, everyone can go into my territory. We got the climate one. Arctic, temperate. Oh. Calling Ludilon Arctic seems a little bit overkill, but whatever. Uh, let's go kill these pirates. I mean, just. Oh! Oh god. Oh shit. Well, where? Iceland. No, fuck that. Iceland can go die. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a nice island. It's fine. Alright, let's pick up the remaining derps. Remaining derps! Uh, so we have Federation map mode that's not gonna come into uh, any... It's not important until later. Trade good. Ooh, fancy colors. Spice. Oh, that's done. This is pretty cool. Can just take a look at all the amazingly shitty resources that we have. Yeah. What else? Uh, colonial regions. Well, there's, they're, they're over here. So we'll need to wait a little bit. Can't do that right now. Uh, so let's wait. Fuck, Norwegian ideas are so good. That's, uh, by the way, one reason that I never formed Scandinavia or anything like that in uh, Crusade Kings was, first of all, because I want to be Norway, because Norway's badass, but also because they have amazing ideas to get. I mean, they don't, they barely need to take. Um, like, look at this. They they get pretty much the bonuses from having um, 
the uh, exploration exploration idea without even taking it. So cool. Ah, well, it's, it's got decent stats in a couple of these things. Okay, so now we are not going to become a personal union of anyone else. So that's good. Now Sweden, uh, do you have a do you have an ear? No, still going to be a succession war, and he's pretty old as well. But it's going to be a succession war between Ruthenia and Gardariki. Or Gardarik, I don't know exactly how you pronounce that. I should know that, I'm Norwegian. But the, the Norwegian, does, uh, Norwegian does not have that this letter anymore. It disappeared out of the language quite a while ago. Icelandic people though, you have that letter. So if anyone is Icelandic uh, watching this video, please tell me how to pronounce that. I think it's th 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 that kind of sound, so Gardariki. I think that's how it's said. But I don't know for sure though. Okay, uh, reduce that, because, because poverty. Let's reduce the, uh, this business as well. And uh, let's go collect some trade here. Oh, holy mother god, we have a lot of, oh wow. All our trade parts just vanished when we reduced that, so fuck no. Yeah, I think we'll earn on having, having that boosted. Yeah, we get a lot of, lot, a lot of money from trade now. Sweet. Hey, Elster, you love me yet? No? I think I can help out with that. I think I indeed can do that. It's so dumb having all of these, uh, having all the Tengri symbols everywhere. <laughs> really hope they fix that. Okay, let's do all the tricks that I know of. So who do you hate? You hate Dublin and Connacht. I don't like Connacht either, they're douchebags. So let's go make sure that Elster know what we're doing, what we're dealing with here. Yeah, what, do you, what about that, eh? Didn't like that very well, did you? Well, why the hell am I... Why, why am I not going to get a personal union over Sweden? Why is Gardariki going to get that? I should totally be allowed to take part in that, you know? I am married to them. They're my... Ugh, I don't even know. I never really understood personal unions. They just kind of happened. I've never really been good at trying to... Figuring out how to do it. Uh, Alright, so... You like me now? Royal marriage, same religion. No? I like to rival. You don't like me, do you? Or Dublin? No. Well, let's go ahead and pro proclaim a guarantee. That'll give us a bonus to 10. We'll go ahead and offer them access. That'll give us another 10, I think. Uh, I guess we'll figure out. Yep, another 10. So that'll, that's good. Last one we would be to, would be to give them a gift. Am I that impatient? Uh, yeah, I am. Totally that impatient. Especially since we do, since we have to give them so little. Oh, are you fighting people already? Why? Con oh, well, that's fair actually, because as long that's very good actually. I might just let them do that. If they can uh, conquer Connacht, then that'll help me out. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll do that. I'll, I'll help. Uh, but I, I think I'll help in the next episode, though, because I feel like we should end this here. Good little introduction episode to this most glorious series. So yeah, if you have any questions about how about the world and whatnot, such as why the fuck do the Timurids own Spain and that kind of business, watch the uh, the video in that's that has a link in the description. It's good for you and whatnot. Uh, so do that. Uh, but other than that, thank you so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.